First, we are working breaking news. Providence police say there was no racial profiling in an incident between two officers and a city firefighter just over two weeks ago. That firefighter Terrell Pachi shared his accusations live with me on air during the Black Lives Matter protest on June 5th. Late this afternoon, Providence police released some body camera footage from that encounter. One officer involved will be disciplined for not having his body camera on. And tonight, we have live team coverage. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is standing by with reaction. First, we go live to Target 12 investigator Steph Machado with the breaking details. Steph? Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry said Officer Matthew Sandorsi will be disciplined for not turning on his body camera during the encounter with firefighter Terrell Pachi. But Perry said the officer did not racially profile Pachi, though he may have been, quote, a bit insensitive. I was dressed in full uniform and I had my radio on and in hand. It was during the Black Lives Matter march in Providence on June 5th that Providence firefighter Terrell Pachi told an emotional story of having guns drawn on him by two Providence officers, one white and one black, while sitting in a friend's car while on duty outside the Messer Street fire station days earlier. So I was screaming, where's the gun? Is there a gun? Where's there a gun? And I was pledging, I'm a firefighter. I'm one of you. Don't shoot. After an internal investigation, Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry on Tuesday described the findings in a Zoom press conference. He says the officers were responding to a report of an armed robbery. Money because you owe me money. That's you don't, you don't. The victims describing a red sedan. Perry says the first officer who spotted firefighter Pachi and his friend in the red car, Matthew Sandorsi, did not activate his body camera as required when he first approached. The second officer, Nathaniel Kalichi, activated his as he pulled up to the scene. You can see Sen Dorsey already pointing his gun at the red sedan. Open the door. Off. Stay there. Legitimately. Stay out of the car right now. Stay right there. I didn't tell you to move. Stay right there. I'm a problem. Stay right there. Firefighter. Perry says Officer Kalichi then turned his camera off and left to search for the actual armed robbery suspects. The rest of Officer Sandorsi's interaction then left unrecorded. But the investigation found he did speak to Pachi about the city curfew for which he was exempt as a firefighter, and then he searched the car. He was lawful in asking. Anybody, any police officer can ask for a search. But I believe uh, both training and better judgment would have resulted differently. Perry said while Sandorsi's behavior may have been insensitive, he does not believe there was any racial profiling. They, they were drawn to the car because of the description of that car. So the answer is no, there wasn't racial profiling uh, because they didn't know who was in the car. And Commissioner Perry says police have not yet determined what the discipline will be for the officer who did not turn on his body camera, but he said it would likely include sensitivity training. 